In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the enhancements to algorithmic modeling in the June 2021 release of NX. For those of you that are unfamiliar with algorithmic modeling in NX, it's a very powerful tool that enables our customers to engineer, templatize and reuse advanced modeling algorithmic rules to create complex designs. The improvements to algorithmic modeling are in two specific areas. Firstly, with the nodes that are used to create the rules, we've enhanced some of our existing nodes, but we've also included some new nodes that extend the capabilities of rule creation. The second area is in the logic editor itself, where we've made a number of key enhancements that make for a far more productive user environment when creating the rules. And it's with the logic editor enhancements that we'll start this demonstration. So I'll just activate my algorithmic feature. And this takes me into the logic editor environment, where I have the node explorer, the rule window, and the part window. In the part window, you can see there's geometry that I'm going to use to help me to create my algorithmic rule. The rule that I'm going to create will generate an hexagonal pattern on the faces that you see in the part window. The first task will be to find the node that will help me generate the hexagonal pattern. I'll search for it in the node explorer. When I find it, I can double click it and that positions it in the rule window. Now each node has a set of input and output ports and they're color designated. Red means there's a required input. Green means the port has been satisfied. White means it's optional. And on the output side, if it's blue, it means it contains some geometry. In this node, you can see that we need to satisfy the face input port. And to do this, we would typically search for a node in the node explorer and then connect the two together. However, new in the latest release of NX, we've now got predicted nodes, which means if I mouse button three over the face input port, it gives me a number of commands that I could use to satisfy this port. Here you can see it's given me three different options. I select the one I want, in this case, select face, and it automatically adds that node to the rule window. This new capability saves a lot of time. It removes the need for me to move between the rule window and the node explorer to find the node that I need to add to my rule. It makes rule creation far more streamlined. I can now satisfy my select face node by picking the three faces in the part window, which in turn satisfies the hexagonal cell node. You can see the input ports have now turned green. You'll also notice that the output ports contain geometry and we can preview this directly from within the cell itself. Now you can see that the pattern has been successfully created on all three faces, but it's not exactly what I want. I want a consistent spacing across all of the faces and I'm not getting this due to the change in curvature and the change in size of the faces. So how can I fix this? Well, one way is to combine all three faces into one sheet body. And I can do this by adding a sew faces node into the rule window. So I'm going to delete this connection and then use the new predicted nodes capability again. You'll notice there are a number of nodes I could choose. But the one I want is the so faces one. So I select that and add that to my rule. All I have to do now is to connect the output port from the so faces node to the input port of the hexagonal cell. And you'll see I get immediate feedback of the new pattern distribution. And it's exactly what I want. It's equally distributed across the whole sheet body. One parameter that I may want to control is the pattern space in itself. And I can do that by adding an input field for the count in both 
U and V. I can just type in the value I want and control both U and V with the same input. And what I'm also going to do here is to rename that node so that it just says count for both the U and V direction. So I'm going to continue to construct my rule again using the new predict nodes capability. We'll add another node in and again start to connect the ports up on that. Again I can switch off the preview of the hexagonal cell and this time look at the preview of the project curve and I may want to create an offset of those curves within the face. So again there's a node to do that. So I'm just going to satisfy the offset curve node. I'm going to connect the body from the so faces node to the input face for the offset curve node and then add an input field for the offset itself. Type in the value and again when I switch on the preview you'll see that we get the exact form that I need. Now again I could go in and modify the value. Again if I do that we get that immediate feedback for the new value. All that's left for me to do now is to create an output node and once I've done that my algorithmic rule is complete. Now I'd like to take you through some of the other key enhancements that we've made to the logic editor in the June 2021 release of NX. The first one we'll take a look at is grouping where you can group and collapse sets of nodes to better document a rule and increase the workspace area in the rule window. So how do I go about creating a group? Well, it's really straightforward. I can either select the nodes individually or as in this case, I can window select around a number of nodes and then using mouse button three, create my group. So there I have my group node signified by the dark gray background. And at this stage, I could rename it to better describe exactly what the nodes contained in the group do. I can also collapse the node and this clears up more real estate in my rules input window. So that's the new grouping capability in this latest release of NX. Next, I'd like to take you through the creation of a snippet and a snippet, which is new in this latest release of NX is the ability to create custom nodes. Now I could define my snippet directly from the group I created. You can see in the mouse button three pull down, I have that option. But in this case, I'm going to define my snippet without the aid of a group. So the first thing I'm going to do is to perform an ungroup. And then the process for defining a snippet is very similar to the way I defined a group. I can wind around the nodes and then mouse button three define snippet. I am then presented with a brand new rule window that just includes the nodes I selected to define my snippet. All I have to do now is to create an output and an input to my snippet. I can even control which snippet inputs are visible. Here I can switch off specific inputs and I can also reorder the inputs to position them differently in my final snippet, just dragging the face input to the top. Now that I've fully defined my snippet, all I need to do now is to save it into my reuse library. This will make it usable for future projects, either by myself or somebody else. So I select the folder, I give it a new name, and then I can exit the snippet logic editor and by doing that it automatically adds that snippet into my original rule. 
You can also see that the only snippet inputs that are visible are the ones I selected. And what I can do now is delete all of the nodes that I used to define my snippet and then reattach the snippet to the output node, the count node, and also the select face node to satisfy my snippet ports. Again, once I've done that, you'll notice that my pattern reappears within the part window. The other benefit of a snippet, apart from the fact that I was able to create a reusable custom node, is the fact that it tidies up my rule window. So I've got more real estate to work with. I can still interact with the snippet directly. I mistakenly deleted the offset node earlier. So I'm just going to add a new one back in. But you'll notice it remembers the current value. So I'd just like to recap what you've seen in this demonstration so far. In the June 2021 release of NX, we included some key productivity enhancements to the logic editor. The ability for NX to predict the nodes a user might need has been added, and this means faster rule creation. We also added grouping into the rule window, which enables better documentation of the rule and also allows for increased workspace area within the rule window. You also saw me create a snippet, again new in the latest release of NX. Snippets are a simple but powerful way of defining custom nodes that can be saved for reuse. Before I end this demonstration, I would just like to show you one more logic editor enhancement. But to do this, I'm going to need a more complex algorithmic rule. In this NX session, you can see the algorithmic rule that defines the whole pattern for a loudspeaker cover. It's more complex than the one we just created and it will allow me to show you the other logic editor enhancement. Navigating a complex algorithmic rule in the June 2021 release of NX has been made so much easier with the introduction of a brand new overview window. Once activated, the overview window appears in the top right hand corner of the rule window and you can dynamically drag the rectangle within that window to very quickly navigate your way around the rule. Clicking in the corners of the overview window very quickly enables you to navigate to that particular quadrant. And if I dynamically drag and reduce the size of the rectangle, it performs a zoom. I can continue to navigate my rule by dragging the resize window around the overview window. I can even use the scroll wheel of my mouse to zoom in even further. And again, drag the rectangle to get a better view of my rule. Double clicking in the rule window itself will resize and fit both the rule window and the overview window. So that's the end of the demonstration where you've seen all the new enhancements to the logic editor with respect to algorithmic modeling in the June 2021 release of NX.